Mackeck. That's right, you guys. I bet y'all didn't expect this. It's like a monkey kid time. So, really brief synopsis. Uh, I've been into Lego Monkey Kid for like a year. I'd watched it way ahead of a lot of my friends, and then they were like, "Oh my god, you should watch Lego Monkey Kid." I was like, "Okay." So I did, but uh, I didn't watch season four for a while because I didn't know there was a season four. And then my friends were like, "Watch season four. And I was like, "Okay, sure." And here we are. So like at first, I didn't really ship anything in the series because I didn't really understand why they would. And I was like, "Oh y'all, y'all chilling." But everyone likes this ship. And then I forgot to proceed to do a cosplay of that ship, so here we are. So today we're doing like a my character race kind of thing. We're doing a one day build. Woo! One day macaque build. It's actually not that hard, so this is really easy if you know what you're doing. It's a lot of rectangles. You guys got this, trust me. It is simple. We're starting with the pants. So you actually want to start with a pattern for pants, but then you cut them out and they kind of look like this. You're going to want to sew up the two sides, the inside and the side side. Yeah, first. Sew them up on both of them. If there's extra like on this... Hate to break it to you, you're going to be cutting that off. Anyways, there you go. Uh, once they're all set up, so turn one inside out and then put it inside the other one. So one's facing its correct way and then you're going to sew that inseam. And then you got pants. Whoosh. Okay, I haven't animated a bit for this one because I was working on it earlier. Because I do this kind of shirt a lot. First, cut out like four rectangles that are like the size of your torso, pretty much. And here, I'll break it down for you. So you got your rectangle. Your rectangle, you want the length of it to be as long as your shirt you want it to be. Plus a little bit if you, because you want to go up to your shoulders. You're connecting at the shoulders. So take that into account when you're doing it. Then the bottom should be as wide as you'd want it to be, which is for this. For the front pieces, you want it to be uh, all the way to your other side. And then for the other, for the back pieces, you want it to be like half width. Now for your front pieces, you're also going to have to take into account that you probably want to cut that triangle out for the, side, the little angle first. I didn't. You can just fold over afterwards if you're feeling lazy. So honestly, take it with a grain of salt. But you want your front pieces to be longer than your back pieces. Trust me on this one. Because you're going to be folding it over. You're folding sideways. Anyways, here's your sleeve. Your sleeve is the same thing. It's a big freaking rectangle as long as your arm. And then make sure that it hangs a little bit because the size of the shirt. And the shirt's armholes are just a big circle. So make sure that you don't sew up the whole thing on the side but it has to have big armholes <laughs> okay this is actually really good ones if you like your arms to not your arm size not sit right at your arm because it will not sit right at your arm yeah yeah or your armpit i guess i should say anyways that's kind of it you want to go to your elbow uh with elbow something i don't know what that said from shoulder to elbow no you want it a little bit longer you want to go to your wrist <laughs> Hello, Risa from the future here. That was actually correct because your armhole is going to get to about halfway down your arm. It's not going to be at the shoulder. So you are going to want it to be about from your like elbow to your wrist, really. Okay, yeah, cool. Go, go. Hey, and from this point on, you just fold them together. I mean, you just sew them together. Sew the back together like so. And then sew the side together like so. Y'all know how this works. Here's me clipping them because I have extra footage. One of my friends said I should record me sewing it, but here's the thing. It's recording me sewing it, it's kind of a pain in the butt, so I didn't. I recorded me sewing like one or I think two pieces, and one of them, you guys can see how much frustrated I get with it because my thread runs out. Okay, and yeah, you sew the back and then you sew the sides, uh, the top and the shoulders on the once you're supposed to fold the sides, and here's me sewing it. Wow. So cool. And then you make your little extra angle pieces like you can see here. And here I am, running at really weird frame rate, guys. And that's pretty much the full costume. I forgot to talk about the red thing, but we'll talk about that later. But I can hear you saying, but reset. Where is the side pieces that is on his waist over here? And after that, I say, okay, we're getting into that. Uh, the red scarf, by the way, is just something I bought. It's just a it's just a red square fabric, guys. It's literally that. You just tie it. That's that. There you go. Done. You could do it with the extra from the sweatpants. Okay. So you're going to do the side things. Uh, basically, just put it up to your body and cut out a, re a square a rectangle. That's the size you want. And then you just add the angles in, like, in the picture. And then you add bias tape on top of it so you make it look all nice. And, and yeah, here you go. Done. Uh, personally, I would tie it to your waistband. And here I look so cool. But now you may be thinking, where the frick is that prop? Simple answer. Uh, I made it with Pringles cans. And you may be thinking, what the frick are you talking about? I'm not joking. Uh, this is a spray pan. There's two Pringles cans and a 
uh, wrapping paper roll, which means if you do this right after the holidays, you are set. I just spray painted it black and gold. This was originally my, uh, Monkey King's, but I didn't. To make the little cone thingies, you're gonna just make a half circle, like a thing, quarter circle, and then you're gonna roll it up into a cone. There's plenty of tutorials online to make cones. You guys can look it up if you're really that interested in how to make a cone. How glue it together. This thing did not freaking break. They broke off the, the staff, but they did not break themselves, so sticking them on to your Pringles cans. And then, you know, once you're done sprinkling them on to your Pringles cans, you're gonna paint them. I don't show you me painting them because I don't know. It's kind of hard to show you painting. Here's me painting the top of it, and I painted the black over the gold. And I got some backstory too. Y'all wanna hear the backstory? You guys gonna hear the backstory whether you wanna hear it or not. So basically, I said this was like uh, Monkey King or Sun Kong's old staff, and he was like, oh my gosh. Uh, Macaque just kind of took it and he's like, okay. You know what? If you're gonna ditch me, I'm gonna make it myself. I'm gonna make it my own. And then I also do the makeup. It's just a quick red face paint around with some like detailing with black eyebrows. If y'all don't know how to do that, uh, just kind of wing it. That's why I say that. Uh, if you want to do a theatrical eye, I would probably put that in there too. Hold I'm up. doing like a macaque styled, um, like pecking opera sort of makeup style. So if you all want to use that as inspiration as well, you can. Those very monkey kid inspiration. Theatrical eye just means putting some white and black underneath the eye. To make it pop more. I would just do white in this case, probably. And now you've made your macaque cosplay. Uh, San Lu Kong not included in this tutorial. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, I actually really like how it came out. So I hope y'all could follow this. I wish you all the best of endeavors in your own macaque cosplay. And I'm sure it will look great. This is Reset Out. do 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 do